Shields up, Iron Breakers. Rurikan here coming at you with another episode of the Blind Elden Ring playthrough. And today, we're going to go get our souls back from the guy who had the two bleeding knives. And then we're going to move on to do the dungeon that was around there. And then we're going to go back to trying to figure out where the hell was the um, that structure that I was trying to get to. In the previous episode because we weren't actually able to get there so first let's start by recovering our souls oh looks like there's actually an item around here and there's also a um i think there was also another dungeon here i'm gonna bypass these undeads though i'm gonna go straight for my souls we should be getting invaded any second now unless he only invades you once oh there it is all righty then. Where you at, dude? Let's go. There he is. Okay, my guy. You gotta be careful about the blood loss. Dude, that is such a chunky blood hit right there. Ow! And your sus blood. You gotta be careful, cause he can trigger bleeding at any second now, and I gotta be for health. Ah, I knew it! God damn bastard! Yeah. I messed him up. Uh-uh. He, he took my kill. We're calling Finger Remedy and Reduvia, which is the bloody knife. Bloody Finger Hunter Euro returned to his world. Now, I think they're supposed to meet up with him up ahead. Yep, here he is. Hey, Yura. Ah, we meet again. To have fought Nereus and lived. You must have seen your share of battle. I am Yura, as you might recall. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished, held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots, who stalk their own. You stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. Just remember, no kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. I won't. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. I don't like how he says you've seen your share of battle. He shouldn't know that, because, like, he saw us kill the dragon. On your way. Perhaps we will meet. Okay. Anyway, I want to check out that cave that was in the back. Isn't it impressive that out of all of the things we've seen so far, and I'm just like, oh, it looks like I haven't explored the entirety of Limgrave just yet. Huh. Interesting. So is this a dungeon? Yes, it is. Murkwater Cave. I should probably reset, right? I used some potions, or did I not? No, oh, actually, I didn't even use potions. All right. Fair enough.
Oh, it was a trap. That's a quick way to get rid of them. Oh, it's just a chest. With a mushroom! Really? No, wait a minute. There's a, a friggin' co-op thing in here. There's no way this is it. There's no way in- oh yeah, there's another exit, so we came from here, right? Yeah, this is where we came from. There's another passage this way. Yeah, I was like, dude, there's no way. There's- there's gotta be a boss fight here. There's always a boss fight. Friggin' what is this? 18 episodes? I found patches! I can't believe I found patches! For Pete's sake, I concede! No one likes a bullheaded brute, you know. I yield! Yield! You can't harm a yielding man! Finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it! Ah. Well, what do you know? You're tarnished, like me. Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Sure. True man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. Oh, they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. What a nice guy. Patches the hyena. What a nice guy. I'm so happy. I couldn't, like, look, guys, I couldn't kill Patches. I mean, come on. Well, would you guys kill Patches? I mean, be real. Let me know in the comments. Would you have killed Patches? I don't think Patches deserves to die, all right? Patches is a nice guy. He's just misunderstood is all. Anyway, let's go do that, um, that other dungeon that's up ahead that I know of. I can't friggin' believe it, dude. Patches. On episode 18, of all things. Oh, God. I shouldn't have delayed exploring this part as much as I did. I was like, well, I know there's a dungeon here, because obviously I did this back in the network test days, but... I shouldn't have delayed it as much as I did, dude. Friggin' patches. Oh, man.
All right. Let's have a look see here. I should actually rest here. I spent some mana. I didn't actually spend any potions. I beat his ass without potions. Ow. That hurts. Oh, are evil. Almost made me bleed. What is it with the bleed ailments here? Oh, there's one that was left behind. Hello. I want like a bigger axe, like even bigger than the great axe, maybe. You guys, uh, you guys gonna come over? Come on, that's it. Go on. A little bit further. Add up. What would happen if I was to press this? I love hitting enemies with their own traps. Oh look, another one. <laughs> hey, what's up? Boink. Some root resin. This is probably not going to be a particularly good dungeon for me, I don't think, but we got to do them all sooner or later. Hey, boys. Is there one that spawns from behind me? No. Hey, 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 got him. Don't step on it. Well, I don't think they can. <laughs> I love it. We still have seven potions. Oh, it's locked by some contraption. How do I open it? I don't remember how to open this one. Oh, I need to press that. Dumbass. Yo, dumbass. Dumbass. Go drink your tea. Alright. That opens her up. Let's go see what's happening down here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, they actually put some lighting in this room. Nice. Okay, this guy doesn't care about counters. No, 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 no. No grabby grabby. I'm way too powerful for this dude at this point. I can still die to it, mind you, but... The fact that I can block all of his swings... takes away all of the threatening aspects of the fight. Oh wow, he didn't even drop from that one. Dude, the absolute abuse. Yep, this one is more of a format. Oh, he actually drops his hammer! Oh, dude, I've been pumping everything into this one, and then there's the- Dude. Oh my god! so many weapons I like oh my god from software thank you thank you thank you oh my god so few games have like one-handed hammers like this
There's almost no games that have one-handed hammers like this. Why is this a thing? Why do more RPGs don't have this hammer? Anyway, what's this? Large iron war hammer designed for gladiatorial combat used by duelists who are exiled from the Colosseum. Weighty enough to crutch, crush armor and its wear alike. Declare your presence with a boastful roar. Raises attack power, defense, and stamina recovery speed. Damn, son! Wait, this is... Oh, because this is probably a special weapon, which means it can use the different... Oh, please. Please tell me this uses the different thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. So many weapons I like. Okay, I am so happy. All right, take me to the round table hold. Whoops. Take me to round table hold. Hey! Uh, I don't think that you would have anything new to say, right? Because I haven't really advanced in the main story, right? Receive power from Remembrance? Oh, I can get his axe. I've forgotten about this. No, I'm good. Thank you. I don't want to get his axe. Uh, She's studying, so I'm assuming nothing's changed really because well, we didn't kill anything. No matter, it's all this, lay out your arms. We haven't really advanced anything, so strength and armament. Oh, it uses regular smithing stones. That sucks. That really sucks. I mean, I'm gonna wanna upgrade the crap out of this for sure. I know I do. Problem is, I don't have smithing stone ones. I need to, like, buy them or something. I don't- I don't know if I can buy them. Like, this is a problem. I need smithing stone one. Of all things. Of all things, I need smithing stone one. I'm- I'm cursed. Uh, what does this one need, I wonder? Do I need to upgrade this hammer? Back already, no matter. This one requires smithing stone three. That means that twos are free. So I could upgrade this one. Damn, dude. Heavy Highland Axe 5. I kind of want to upgrade it, but at the same time, I kind of want to upgrade this one. Thing is, this one does not have passive effects. This one does. Decisions, decisions. I wish I hadn't upgraded this. Now that I know that you can get this, I really wish I hadn't upgraded this. I'm getting a lot of value out of that though, but still. Oh well. We'll run around with this one for the time being. Uh, I'm not really going to spend too much time here. Looks like everything's pretty much the same. So we're going to be advancing. Uh, I'm, I'm so sad. I was really hoping that this thing would be different. So we want to go here, uh, and I think that the most straightforward way is actually the War Master's Shack, and then we'll travel through the road. So that's what we'll do. Let's head out there. Head out towards adventure. So this would be the road, right? What in the hell? That scared the crap out of me. It's like wolves dropping in out of nowhere. Who's that? Is that just like a random... He's got a peculiar looking weapon. Oh no, it's a lance. Oh, hi. Oh, he's weak. He could have a spell, though. He does. Ash of War, Golden Vow. What is that?
I also got to do my Wanderer's Physique. I haven't really done it yet. Grants Affinity and Skills to an Armament, Sacred. The Sash of War grants an Armament, the Sacred Affinity, and the following skill. Golden Vow, skill passed down from antiquity among the Knights of the Capital. Raise Armament aloft and pledge to honor the Earth Tree in battle, granting self and nearby allies increased attack power and defense. I like that. That would make a nice support build when you're playing co-op. So, looks like we have to head down. To go towards where I want. Oh, I should make sure to grab materials near trees, because sometimes they can be the resin. And I want as much resin as humanly possible. Because I seem to get mostly stuff to do everything else, but resin appears to be my current bottleneck whenever I need to craft something. Let's check out this area before we head out to the, the structure, just in case. Because, you know, it's an edge, and usually at edges you might be able to find stuff. That is definitely going to be a Colossus fight, and for that, we'll want this. Because I'll stagger the ever-living snot out of him. I go, my guy. Wow, this was a really weak one. I'll swap back to the axe now. I could have probably killed him with a weak one. I don't think these dudes even respawn, do they? I don't know, I can check that later, but... Okay. Looks like at least for this zone, we're reaching a point at which we're really powerful. Lance Talisman! What does that do? Enhances attacks on horseback. Nice! And yeah, Lance is probably one of the best weapons for horseback combat. I wish I could stop the storm that is always happening around this area. Because I'm sure this area would probably look gorgeous if it wasn't like always stormy like this. Okay, we want to get to this bridge. There is a path. Nice. So we can actually just drop down. What's that thing in the middle? These Colossus... These are Colossus remnants, but... The Colossus is all the way in the back. Oh, okay. Demi-humans. We'll leave them to their own uh, devices. <clears throat> Oh. What's this? A dungeon. Unthinkable, our hollowed resting place is violated. To refuse the earth tree's call to return to live within death, sickening. Oh. Those who live in death. As D mentions, they should be left well enough alone, particularly if there's a mariner by their side. Death touched catacombs. I guess we'll explore these as well while we're here. Nine thousand. Gotta be careful. Don't want to lose these. Definitely the one. I don't know if I use the one. The other. Uh oh. Hello. <laughs> Okay, there's, they're going to be coming out of the ground. They're a thousand percent going to be coming out of the ground. Yep. Who'd have thunk it? Let's just find the thing that opens the door. This will open the door.
Why can I not? I couldn't attack all the messages up for some reason. Invincibility frames, motherfucker! reason I killed these is because I wanted to pick this up. It's a blood rose. Three blood roses even, but sure. <clears throat> oh, there's actually an item up there. How do I go about getting that? There's no, there's no ladder here. So there has to be a passage that I haven't found yet. Probably upstairs. Let's take care of these one by one. It's gonna take a little bit longer to explore this dungeon than it seems. Human bone shard. Now I gotta figure out how to get up there. Is there maybe like a ladder somewhere here? Because I don't see one. Is there a door that way? There is a door up there. So we gotta come in through that door. Could it be that this is this would be like my first illusory wall? No. Is that an item? It's a candle. This is the boss fight. Would there be a side area? Maybe after you do the boss? I don't know, that feels weird. The side area after you do the boss? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I feel like it should be before. But I could be wrong. Anyway, we got 10,000 souls. I gotta be real careful with this. I don't want to lose these souls. But these are not enough to level up yet, are they? They're, pre they're, 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 they're pretty close. It's, it's, pretty, it's, it's almost there. Alright? I get, I get, I get to do this one, okay? I get to do this one. I'm not asking for permission, by the way. I'm saying, do what I want. Now then, what are we looking at? Let's go into. Also, for starters, mix wonders physique. Restores half of total HP in mix physique. Steadily restores HP for a time in mix physique. Temporarily boosts stamina in mix physique. Boosts faith. Enhances charged attacks for a time. Significantly negates damage. I like this one. So let's do this one. And... Regen. And I need to remove some stuff from here. Okay. Cover me. I'm going in. Give me that resin. That rot resin. That root resin. Okay, what we got here? Like a big skeleton dude? 
Black Knife Assassin. The Knight of the Black Knives! This guy is dangerous. They killed Godwin the Golden. It's not just him. It's not just him. There's no way it's just him. There's more of them. I guarantee there's more of them. Okay, he moves too fast for the backstab. I know what I'm doing. Oh, it staggers him as well. Come then! Oh, wow. He got trounced. My boy got trounced. Was it just him? Oh, wow. Okay, I, I was just over-leveled. I was just over-leveled then. Ooh, there's some root resin here. Nice. And I'll take whatever this is as well. Death root. It's a key item. Also, this is a key item as well. Beast clergyman seeks and devours these. Okay. Root resin. I don't want to return to the beginning. I want to find out that secret room. Found it. See, I knew it. There had to be. There had to be a way to get there. I bet the item's not even worth anything. Because it never is. <gasps> An Uchi! It's valuable knowledge for me to share with uh, all those longsword users out there. Because all of them are going to want more katana. Are you kidding me? Come on, hit it! Okay, let's get one more in endurance. I just realized that I... No, I did use it, didn't I? Did I use the stat? I don't even remember anymore. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out the new weapon that I got. Which is... Which is... So I got Reduvia, Jagged Dagger with Distinctive Curved Blade, used by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. This dagger rips the flesh as it enters, inflicting blood loss with sickening efficacy. A proud testament to the success of its vicious design, this weapon is perpetually coated in blood. Reduvia Blood Blade. Slash the wicked dagger, transforming its never-ending drying blood into airborne blood blades that cause hemorrhaging. Okay, so the thing that he was throwing at me was caused by that. We also got the Erd Steel Dagger with a grass crest engraved upon its blade. Carried by the Earth Tree Royalty for self-defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, the weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Interesting. Quick step. I never used quick step. It's probably good for PvP, I would imagine. It's usually the way those things go. Uh, what about the Assassin's Blade that I just got? I just... Because I saw an Assassin's Blade. Was it not a weapon? If it wasn't a weapon, what was it? Is it a key item? No. Oh, I have those two. I should use those. I love how I have seven Smithing Stone Fives. <laughs> What did I use my smithy? I used them to upgrade this stupid shield. Why do I have so little of them? Why are they so hard to get? Oh, it's a talisman. Critical hits restore HP. Oh. Oh. A 
much? Hey! <laughs> I'll take it. We'll test it. We'll test it and see if it's up the spec. That's another dungeon done. Okay, this is the direction that we're going to. Can you hear me? Again. I'm stuck. Hello? Oh wait, I this I remember this from the trailer. Hi. Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret, I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Now you did hear him say it. So, I'm going to leave it the chance. I don't know if this thing is maybe too strong. I, I got just the thing. I got just the thing. Give it your all, you said. All right, then. <laughs> I didn't kill him. I expected to kill him. <laughs> I got to be honest. I was like, I'm half and half, you know? It's like um, the guy from, from Rocky, you know, Dolphin Green when he's in Rocky? If he dies, he dies. Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> All right, my ah. friend. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And... As a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the East, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> okay, so Alexander the Potboy is moving east. I need to, I need to make a note of this. Uh... Alexander goes east. I wish I could use my PC, but like, unfortunately, because I'm playing in full screen. Gotta, gotta remember that. Alexander heads east. I'm heading eastward to Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. Okay. I'm heading eastward to Red Main. Okay, this is all he has to say. That's all you can say. That's all you can say. I just explored this section here for a bit. Doesn't seem like there's any items. There's a giant down there. It's just like a regular uh what are they called? I forgot what they're, the troll. They're called troll, right? Yeah, I've been down there. When I heard the voice, I thought it was the the nobleman I'd helped. Oh, I have to cross through the bridge. Okay, let's head towards that bridge. It would actually be good to not trigger that. Oh, nice. Who 
would you look at that? Is he? He just bash his head against that thing. Hello. Ow. You done? No? My turn. That was fast. I like this axe a lot. Like, this axe is actually really good. It's the shame I never upgraded. Smithing stone one. Yes, I need a lot of those. Because I also want to upgrade that hammer. Well, I like when they play the music. Makes me feel... Makes me feel, uh, nice and calm. Oh, dear. You might... I... Terribly sorry. Uh... No. Oh. was a customer. Yes. Bandit mask. Flame chariots. I haven't seen a flame chariot. This should be important. I'll use that. Matic Warriors Cookbook 3. Uh, I don't have any, so sure. Uh, can I get another... Should I get another crack pot? I barely use them, so probably not important. Uh, yeah, let's not get that one just yet. Thank you. Oh, no, I must apologize. I, I, no, I, I, no, no, it's fine. I'm afraid of very little to offer. No, dude, I, I, I liked your music. Nice companionship. I liked it. Also, I realized that the other day my game crashed. No, but voice is set to 10. Like, because the voices still feel very low to me. I'm sorry if that's the case for you guys as well, but it's like... I can't afford to just take the time to edit every single Let's Play with audio mixing as well. I might as well shoot myself in the foot. What do we got here? Is it the people that are in these crosses that are screaming? Because they don't animate, so it makes it weird. Down there. Bears. I think no, I wasn't down there. We still we've spent the entire episode trying to get there. We still haven't gotten there. Oh, and there's some ruins along the way, which means we're still not gonna get there. It's all in the journey. I want to get some new armor, is what I want, to be honest. It's like, my characters look like ass since the start of this playthrough, and it hasn't changed. Oh. Okay, there's undeads in here. You don't want to mess with that. Too much hassle. I kind of want more in my mind stat, though. Because I want to be able to use my Ashes of War more often. Be able to summon more powerful things. What in the hell is that? Is that something on a friggin' boat? Someone on a boat. Are these the ruins that I was looking for? Yeah, they are. Summon Water Village. Is it undeads? Yep, it's a whole lot of undeads. And there's the boatman. I don't want to be engaging with undeads. Take too long to kill. Oh! Looks like we need keys to open up the lower portion of these ruins. Oh, no! It's the Mariner! He's the boatman! It's 
So it's a whole boss about undeads. He's going to be so proud of me when I kill all these. I'm scared of him. There we go. It's like Nito. Ow. He's not really a threat at my level, I feel like. Yeah, at my current level, he was just like, whatever. That's another death route. Skeletal Militiaman Ashes. Eh. I just realized there was a side of grace over there that I didn't pick up. Mushroom. Go through here. I still have to open up the section down there. Oh, he's gone. He died. I wonder if it was from me falling on top of him. That was a neat little fight, though. Nice! Smithing stone one. I'll take it. I need more smithing stone ones. So there was actually not much here. It was just a little dude who deals in death with the mariner. Which was cool. But uh, let's now actually unlock the bottom portion here. I find it funny that there was a there was a review that I saw recent. Not a review. It was like one of those clickbait articles that I saw recently, which recently is going to be a relative concept by the time I upload this video. But just let's just say it was an article that I saw around the release of Elden Ring, right? And in that article, the person who wrote the article said one of the best items to take with you is the the stone keys thing, which I forget the actual name. But you guys know the one I'm talking about, right? The stone cutter keys or whatever they're called. The ones that we're about to use on this imp. And he's not wrong. The person who wrote this article, they're not wrong. But... The reason, they said, is because this is an extremely rare item out in the world. It's like, extremely rare, you say? Extremely rare. Where, where do I even have those? I don't know where they're at. Where do they show up? Not a talisman. I guess it's like a key item, maybe? Yeah, extremely rare. Yes, I only have five of them, and I've been using them pretty much every single time. And I've chosen not to buy them off of certain vendors. Extremely rare. 
Uh, where is... I saw it was like around here, the way down. Isn't it? Oh, it must have been further ahead then. Here. Yeah, it's over there. Stone Sword Key. Turtles. So this is like a spot if you want to farm like turtle meat. You can come farm it here, I guess. Green turtle talisman, let me guess. Restore stamina. Raise the stamina recovery speed. Never would have guessed it. Okay. That was still a nice adventure. So we gotta set, like, our goals for the next session. So let's see. So we've done a lot of stuff around here. We went to this one. There's a merchant there with stuff. Uh, we should go to Fort Height. We go to Fort Height for the next one. See what dude is doing. But we should also do... Um... We should also see what D has to say. Actually, we can see what D has to say right now. Then in the next episode, we're going to start over in Fort Height, see what guy has to say. But then I guess we're either moving into Kalid or into this territory. And I, I got to be real. I'm feeling, I'm much more feeling this side. I've been saying that for probably like 10 episodes by now. But uh, <laughs> also, I got to do this dungeon. So we might actually start with this dungeon here. I need to find out where it is. And we'll do that. Then we'll figure it out. Um, also, I wanted to see. We came here. There's another one over there. I think we did all of these. Uh, summon Water Village. What was the other one I wanted to check? So these are like graves. It's this thing. But I guess I checked this thing as well if we came to the Artist Shack. So, yeah, I think this is pretty much explored. Uh, so I need to do this one. St no, not this one. It is this one. I need to do this one because I haven't done it. But like I said, now we're going to go talk to D real quick. Hey. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Well, well. Another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weed in Deathroot. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their Deathroot, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to. And the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Sure. Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you. Of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Red mark was made on the map. Oh. Sending cave. There we go. We have our objective. That's what we're doing in the next one. We're gonna do this one, and then this one, and then we're gonna head over here, deal with this guy. Because it's gonna keep me procrastinating coming over here, which is what I really wanna do. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, watching the playthrough as much as I'm enjoying doing it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, do all of that jazz. Um, have a good one, team. Peace out.